right here everyone it's another week of halloween decor hunting it's just me and good old mr skeleton um it's been a minute since we've been out because i was busy editing there was a lot of footage from that last one y'all we went to a lot of places just just to put it out there uh usually i'll put what i'm wearing down in the description box for the different days so if you have any questions about sunglasses or lipstick or anything like that all that will be in the description box um and i only say that just in case i didn't get your comment about it um but yeah we're going out halloween decor hunting where are we going today right, so here's the plan for the week for the rest of the week so today i'm not going to make it a long day i think we're just going to go to home goods because the last place we left off home goods was starting to put stuff out i'm on the lookout for spooky mugs and we didn't see a lot. We're seeing the same kind of things pop up. Then we saw Michaels was starting to put out their Halloween decor, that like romantic, blush, a pastel goth type of vibe, but it wasn't all out. We didn't see the whole collection. So we're gonna go back today. Then I think that's it for today because we are getting a little bit later. Tomorrow, I think what we're gonna do is go all the way out to that other home goods, the fancy one, because last time we went there on a thursday we had really good luck we got those cauldrons friday i want to do all the home improvement stores so home depot lowe's and menards you know what today we're gonna swing by target and see if the dollar spot has anything and or any pajamas if you remember last year we found some halloween pajamas pretty early on and i want to look at the kids clothes because they usually put their halloween stuff out early and i always get an outfit for my nieces so busy don't worry i was just driving down the middle of the road i'm definitely that person that i like get mad at all the time and i'm like uh, oh wait, no that's definitely handicapped if i remember from past experience i almost made that mistake just now okay here we go oh god all right so i just got out of home goods and that was a whole weird situation um Okay, first of all, I'm not going into this, Michaels. We'll go to the other one. We're running to the other home goods really quick because this one had less stuff than the last time we saw it. Like it just had basically an end cap uh, with like a lot of the same stuff, wine glasses. There was like a really cool little ceramic witch thing that was kind of cute. They also had this really cute silver school canister that was cute, but I'm kind of maxed out in the canister department. They had a really cute Jack Skellington mug, but other than that, there really weren't any, it was like less than last time. No spooky mugs other than like what was in that little section and which was basically a Jack Skellington mug and maybe one of those cat mugs again. But they did have a bunch of oven mitts, and tea towels or like kitchen towels that were really cute. So they had these oven mitts that were orange with black bats on them, so cute. Then they had another pair that was like black and white but it had a little bit of lime green I think on it. And then they had some really cute black and white kitchen towels. One was a spider web design and the other one was a ghost design. Uh, and the other kitchen towel that was really cute was this, it had like all these little witchy things on it, like a broom and a hat and all these other little cute things. So that was cute, but I, I am not okay with just leaving it at that today. Like that just does not feel right to me. So we're gonna go out to the other one that we left on Friday. We're gonna go out to that one. We're gonna take a gander at what's, what's there. Then we're gonna run it to the Michaels next door and then we'll run over to, there's a Target across the street. We'll just run to that Target. I don't wanna go down the wrong way because I yelled at somebody for doing that last time. Okay, it's not that bad today. Let's go to Michaels first. We're gonna do that. Uh. It feels hotter than it was supposed to get today. I'm pretty mad about it. Um, so I've been, I bought a couple things today. I haven't really been buying anything to be honest with you because I haven't really found a whole lot, but stuff's coming out. Okay. So let me just say, I'm so glad we revisited this Michaels because I just walked into that Michaels and they were putting Halloween out and they didn't have everything out. They just were like starting to get stuff out. So we're gonna have to go back later this week, but, or check another one. 
but they're bringing back their vintage line again this year. That was like the big line last year, I feel like was that like scaredy cat kind of vintage vibe. They didn't have everything up. It, that area was kind of sparse. They were just putting things out. So last year they had this big cat pillow. It was like the scaredy cat pillow that was really cute. Well, this year they still have the scaredy cat pillow, but they brought in a pumpkin pillow, like a vintage looking pumpkin that's really cute with his face on it. Lots of just little things that sit on the shelf, like little pumpkin guys with legs, or maybe it was like a cat just different like vintage characters and and then they also had these like little wooden like they're like long hanging like you hang them on the wall or you can hang them wherever and they're like long characters one's the scaredy cat another one's a skull uh and i think another one is a pumpkin but i didn't really get a good look at it but they're really cool looking if you're into that vintage vibe they had a bunch of just little uh trinkets little tabletop things uh though that that's mainly what i saw in that area but they were still putting a lot of it out so then uh they have this whole other section that is sorry i'm really getting excited about it that is this the whole fortune teller mystical but mainly like fortune teller meets goth line that's really cool this year and they're once again just starting to put stuff out they had this fortune teller sign that just says fortune really big on it and it's black and it has gold and this gold moth on it and some eyes and it's a kind of eerie looking really cool and they had amazing tabletop decor in this little area they had these little pedestals that had like a it had a skull on it and then it had a crystal like not a real crystal but like faux crystals sticking out of it and then it lit up and like like kind of just did this like magical light up situation it was really amazing looking a little planchette that was really 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 cool that had a cool design on it it didn't say ouija on it it wasn't some we it, that's what i really appreciated about it is that it wasn't necessarily like a standout like oh my gosh this is ouija it was like a very intricate looking planchette it also had like things like this bowl that had some feathers on it they had really 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 cool potion bottles this year they had some that were more gothic vampire and they had some that were more like witchy some that were like purple and pink and some that looked like they were older and they worn and others that didn't like they had all these different little bottles that were really cool the candelabra in that section was really pretty it's kind of like this goldish but like tarnished looking that i have a feeling once they get it all out that section and that line this year is gonna be my line like i'm really excited about it they also had really cool floral this year some little venus fly traps a lot of like oh they had these like glittery black butterflies and some it's more like black mossy type of stuff this year too um, all right so then i went back to the little romantic pastel goth line to get a better look at it and it was fully stocked it had everything um so they had all the different artwork which they had the skeleton with all the floral which we saw last time the portrait it had this really cool welcome sign that was really pretty they had some other signs that said just like different things here and there and then they had the potion bottles i was looking for last time where it had the spider it has a black spider on it the skeleton bust with the flowers the like actual it's like a little tabletop decor they also had one that was like this x-ray looking there were like these three frames and then it had a skeleton so it like kind of formed like there was different parts of a skeleton in each picture but they basically just had all the different skeletons all the different signs and honestly this whole line i'm just going to continue to show it because i can't even remember all the things i saw because it was so they had everything out there was just so much to see and there's a lot of smaller pieces in this line but i got the full on up close and personal with nothing was sold out yet all right so anyways i'm gonna talk about home goods really quick there wasn't a whole lot to see once again um there was like a couple of things we saw before the radios there was a cute little dachshund with a witch hat on um and then some jack-o-lantern things there was like a bronze or gold looking one and then a wooden one but, and then some skeletons holding a cup of some sort or glass, or I don't know what it was, but a lot of the same kind of stuff we've seen and just that one little aisle, that was it. And then they didn't have any spooky mugs. I didn't see any, not one spooky mug. Also, they did have more kitchen towels. They had the orange kitchen towel with the black bats that matched the oven mitts. I, once again, didn't see any blankets, didn't see any spooky mugs, which are a couple of things I'm looking for this year. So, all right, I'm gonna run into Target really quick. We're gonna see what they have.
just left Target and they're starting to put out the Halloween dollar spot. Let me just put that out there. There was a worker putting out some of the ceramics. So I didn't get a really good look at the ceramics, but like the little, like they get them every year. They're like little, it's like, you know, like a little jack-o'-lantern with an open mouth. It's like a little candy jar, or I don't know, like a little tea light holder. But I did see some little Halloween socks. They had little skeleton Halloween socks. They had black and white stripes and they had orange, is it orange and black? Or no, it's the black with the orange pumpkins on it. And that's all they had. But if we check back later this week, I almost guarantee you they're gonna have a full section, like dollar spot. So prepare your wallets for Target dollar spot. So I'm gonna run to the other Target. Anyway, we're just cruising out. I don't know if I have anything else to talk about. We talked about literally everything last week. I told you my whole life story in one full hour. <laughs> but I did have kind of a weird dream. I guess I could talk about that. This was like a couple weeks ago, but I meant to tell you guys about it because I thought it was hilarious. So I had this dream that my neighbors were selling their house. And my husband was like, let's go over there and look at it. And I was like, why would we do that? We can just look it up on Zillow. You know, like the app where you can look at houses. Like, well, I just want to see what improvements they made on the house. Even like, I don't even know if they did make improvements. I don't even know where this comes from. And I'm like, well, we could just look on Zillow. And he's like, no, they, they just left. We should just sneak in. And okay, at this point, I think I've been watching too much You. If you've watched on Netflix, You, it's Y-O-U. Like, it's like a totally like stalker, like creepy. Uh, it's a whole situation. Anyway. If you've watched you, you know. I think I was watching too much of it because he like sneaks into people's houses and he always finds a way in and I don't know how he does it. But apparently we had these skills and we snuck into our neighbor's house while they were gone to see what their house looked like. <laughs> and nothing was updated except for their master bathroom, which was this whole like mermaid, like turquoise tile, like the iridescent turquoise looks like mermaid tile everywhere. They had this, <laughs> This is the worst story. Between the shower and the tub, there was like a pond, <laughs> like a koi pond <laughs> in their bathroom. And then they had three toilets. They had a regular toilet, a just a, a bowl with a bidet, and then a urinal. But so my husband's like, look at all these toilets. And I kid you not in this dream, he poops in the urinal. Why am I dreaming about this? I have no idea. Well, I'm dreaming about my husband pooping in urinals, but he did this. And I was like, oh my gosh, he just pooped in the urinal. And he's like, that's the urinal? Cause it was like this fancy looking thing. And I was like, oh, and the drain has like the, like, you know, like the little like holes. So like nothing will drain in there. You know what I mean? So just sitting on top. And when I looked over and saw what had happened, it was the turds were actually chicken, like fried chicken, like fresh out of the bucket fried chicken <laughs> sitting on in this urinal <laughs> and 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 I was like oh my gosh what are we gonna do we have to tell them we have to tell them and he's like no we're not gonna tell them we're gonna leave right now so we run out of the house and as we're in the backyard we see them pull back up into their house and I'm like oh my gosh they're gonna know they're gonna know and he's like how would they ever think it was us like why would they just think that their neighbors would come into their house and break in and poop in their urinal and then end scene so thought i'd tell you that hilarious dream i had and probably really disgusting and tmi for way too many people but if just in case you're worried about it yes there was fried chicken in a urinal we're at target so i'm just gonna go ahead and go in here we're going in oh gosh it's getting hot again y'all it is getting hot all right so just left target again and they had some stuff in the dollar spot, uh, like the last one, except I actually got shots of it. So I saw some of the ceramic things that were being put out in the last Target. They had a pumpkin little thing, like I said, with like a mouth open kind of thing is almost what it looks like. It's like, I think it's called a candy bowl, but I just don't know where you put candy in it. It's like pretty flat on the inside. Woo, we're gonna go, woo, we're getting green lights all over the place. Yeah. So they had a pumpkin one, they had a witch one that was really cute that had this little hat with these stars and moons on it, and then they had a, what was it? I'm having a huge brain fart, was it a fox? I don't know. 
Uh, oh, they also had a couple little cute plushes that we're putting out. These little like stuffed little things, a couple foxes. One was like a witch fox and another one was a vampire or something. And then um, just like little cute little plush things. Then they also had two of these things out, which I was really excited about. These little cauldron candy bowls. And then it had an orange inside. So it was black on the outside, orange on the inside of the bowl. I thought those were so cute for little candy corns. You know, I'm already planning. And oh, then I was in the little kids section looking at dresses and they had the cutest dresses this year. They had one that was black that had like a bat and cats on it. And then they had one that was orange that had stripes on it. And then they had one that was a full little skeleton vibe with like a little tutu situation that was really cute. I stopped by the pajama section to see if they had any Halloween pajamas out and they didn't have anything. So we're waiting patiently for the Halloween pajamas at Target. All right, we'll let you guys go because we're done for the day. I'll see you guys tomorrow bright and early. And we're... Hey everyone, we are back out. Did they paint their house? That was random. It is another day Halloween decor hunting. And, um, okay. I just, I don't know if you guys get bored seeing the same places. I guess you should say this. I'm gonna stop going to the places once they're fully stocked and then I'm not really seeing anything new roll in. Mainly I go to the places again just to show you more of what's coming out. And if you're shopping online, you know, like if you're on Michaels or wherever, you can see what it looks like in person. Sometimes things look different in pictures than in person. So that being said, we're gonna go back to home goods today. We're gonna go out to the fancy home goods where we had really good luck last Thursday. And then we're gonna go to Target and we're going to a different Target and we're gonna check out the dollar spot. And then we're gonna go to a different Michaels to see if they have more um, of the vintage line and that, what was it? Like the fortune teller and Gothic line. All right, so we're just cruising out. Going to Home Goods. I just want to see some spooky mugs. I'm running out of tabletop space for tabletop decor kind of stuff. Oh my gosh, I forgot to tell you. I can't believe I didn't mention this. Okay, if you've been here for a while, if you haven't, it's okay, I'll explain everything. All right, you know me, I love to talk. Okay, so if you've been here for a while or anytime I decorate my mantle, you know that my favorite Halloween piece is this Headless Horseman statue that I got from Home Goods. It's just my favorite spooky piece ever. I love the Headless Horseman, I love the story, and I love this piece. And I don't know how I'm gonna tell the story without crying. I'm just kidding, I won't cry. But I did cry when it happened, and I, and I don't feel pathetic at all for it. Okay, so, so back when I did my Halfway to Halloween decorating video, I had this black wreath that was leaning against my mantle. So you could see the Headless Horseman silhouette, in the wreath like the wreath was framing the headless horseman it was like my i was so excited about the whole thing and i didn't want to hang the wreath because if i raised up the wreath then the headless horseman wouldn't be it wouldn't be framing it like the headless horseman would be like you know down lower in the wreath because the wreath would be up higher anyways long story longer i was taking everything down and the headless horseman fell off of my mantle if you're audibly gasping right now, like that's, I was like, oh no, like yelled it, maybe screamed it in pain. Like, huh. anyway, you know what was, and it was my favorite piece. Like of all of my pieces, that one was my favorite. I may or may not be trying to hot glue it together. So anyway, continuing my longest story ever because I feel like everyone needs to know about it. Collected most of the pieces. There is a lonely shoe a lonely headless horseman shoe like the headless horseman lost his soul <laughs> if you get it like soul of the shoe whatever in my living room when he fell off of my <laughs> mantle so i don't know where the shoe went i've taken my and it's like a larger piece i've taken i've torn my living room apart and i can't find this damn shoe okay first of all let me tell you <laughs> how embarrassing I am. At first I was like, where's his head? <laughs> and I was like, wait, dude has no head. <laughs> That's the point. <laughs> but I'm still not sure if he had the shoe to begin with. Like maybe I bought it without the shoe and just never noticed it, which is totally possible. 
the funniest thing too, okay, I gotta tell you this funny story that goes along with this, but is not related, but is related. Okay, so when this happened, I tried to super glue it all together and the super glue just wasn't working. I ordered, I didn't have any glue sticks, so I ordered all these glue sticks off Amazon. And so the thing about my mail, there are three people in my neighborhood that get each other's mail. So it's like me and then there's like a, a girl who's like uh, three or four doors down we were talking about it. Well, this third person that we've never met before is, is opening our mail, straight up opening our mail and has no shame in it. And it's every time I order my glue sticks, they don't show up. Glue, sti glue sticks are nowhere to be found. And I'm like, where are my glue sticks? What the hell? And I'm like, oh, of course they're, they're probably delivered to this one neighbor. Sure enough, sure enough. They show up on my doorstep with a note on it once again. So sorry. Didn't know this wasn't mine. Accidentally opened it. It's the same note every time. It's the same note. What makes it so amazing though that I love so much about this is I'm just imagining if this person really, I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt and say they literally just aren't paying attention. I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. I'm going to put it out there because I feel like in my heart of hearts, I'm a good person and I want to see the best in everybody. So I'm going to, I'm going to put it out there that this person doesn't really mean it. I don't want to spread negativity into the world and just assume that about people. Although it's hard to believe after like 20 million packages have been opened, but we're going to stay positive. But in my mind, I was like, if this person really does open all these packages just to see what's inside them and see if they like it and keep it. I just imagined the disappointment when they opened this package and it was full of just glue sticks, <laughs> just these little clear glue, <laughs> glue rods. <laughs> so I had to laugh, but I'm in the process of fixing this headless horseman. So I'm gonna put them back together again, like Humpty Dumpty. Anyways, I thought that was a fun story I could tell you guys since I have literally nothing else to talk about. So we're almost at Home Goods, so I'll see you guys there. So that was a huge disappointment. I had high hopes today because of last week. Looks like all the first round stuff has sold. Uh, the Charlie Brown stuff, I feel like that was all first round. Then the second round was like this, like they put out the wine glasses with the skeletons and the plateware and with the skeletons. So I'm assuming there's gonna be like another wave at Home Goods, and I'm hoping we we hit that wave. All I saw at that one, which I guess I should tell you, were these silver, they had some silver jack-o'-lantern look, looking lantern things. They had lots of silver stuff. Uh, silver skeletons that were holding this um, board. It was like a wooden plate thing. And then another set of silver skeletons holding another different, like a silver plate, like surfware stuff. And then, uh, what else? Oh, like there was a bride, uh, bridal looking skeleton couple thing. I didn't see anything else that was Halloween that we hadn't seen before. Like they had some gnomes and then they had one of the radios left that we saw last week. So we're on our way to Target. And while I'm out there, that Michaels is right there. And this Michaels was really good last year too. All right, well, I'll see you guys at Target because we're almost there. All right, so I just left Target and I ran into Michaels real quick too because it's like right there. All right, so the dollar spot at this Target had a couple of things we didn't see yesterday. They had a couple of really cute signs like broom company or something like that. Another one said 31 and another one said, I don't even remember what else it said, but there were a couple of Halloween signs that were really cute. Then there were also some cute little tabletop decor. One said Hocus Pocus and it was like black and white. And then another one was orange and black. They had a couple of the plushes and that was pretty much it. Also, they had spooky trees at this one and they have glittery spooky trees like last year. And they have velvet spooky trees this year. So instead of glitter, they're velvet. So if you're not a big glitter person, they've got black velvet ones. And the little pot that they're in has a skull on it. It's actually really cute. All right, so I went to Michael's after that and their store was really, really well stocked. Uh, I didn't get any more shots of the pastel goth line because we got a lot yesterday. So I got more of the tarot line, palm reader line, 
and they had some really cute little, like, you know, the faux books that open up and it's like a little, like, you can put things in there, like a hidden book, like a fake hidden, like little, it's like a little thing. Um, they had a couple really cute ones. One was like palmistry, I think. Then another one was like something about oddities or something like that. They also had a really cool seeing eye pillow that has purple on it. It's really cool. It's kind of a longer pillow too. That's another one I feel like that could be out all year round. Once again, the, their bottles this year are really cute. All the little bottles, uh, lots of skulls. Loved the velvet skulls this year. They had black, purple, like a like all jewel tones so purple like a really pretty green like an emerald green uh, but really 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 pretty jewel tone uh, velvet skulls and they had all different types of light up skulls they had the little crystal like the little pedestals with the crystals on top really cute signs once again they had a really really cute looking kind of jewelry box kind of deal like a little trinket box uh, or just decorative box, if you want to call it that. Really cute plates, like a really cute, I think it was like a seeing eye plate of some sort. Maybe it was just a palmistry. I don't know, but it was a really pretty plate. What am I missing? Oh, they had a really pretty cauldron that had these like kind of floral designs around it. Really gothic looking. They had uh, a palm, they had a palmistry pillow. But what else did they have that I'm, that I'm not thinking of that I saw that was really cute? Um, oh, they had these little coffins that are little boxes. So cute. One had a cross on the front. One of them said RIP on the front. Overall, just a lot of cute stuff in that area. And I'm my, I'm pretty much going to empty out my entire wallet in that area. What else did I see? Oh, there was also the vintage line once again, wasn't fully stocked. Like it was still, that was like pretty sparse in that area. The stuff they did have was really cute once again. What did I see? Oh, their spooky house that they put out this year in that line. Um, but there was another kind of vintage line that had some really cute tins that had like a witch flying on a broom, which I want that one so bad. It says like Hocus Pocus on it. And then they had, once again, some of those fake book things that, have, that are actually just like little trinket boxes that had a witch, one had a witch on it, and one had a cat. They had also these really cute little glass containers and it almost looks like a Ouija board on it, but it says Halloween greetings on it. But anyways, now that I'm talking 100 miles a minute and for 50 million hours, I'm gonna let you go here. <sighs> Happy Friday, everybody, and we're off. All right, so we're back out Halloween decor hunting it is like 10 till 10 so it's 9 50. so it's kind of early so i figured we would hit target so we're gonna go check the target dollar spot again today because we've been seeing little bits of target dollar spot coming out but haven't seen the full shebang yet then we're gonna run to home depot then we're gonna run out to minards or minards and we're gonna run to lowe's and then I'm thinking I want to stop by the Dollar Tree just really quick before I go home. It is early enough that I'm hoping I get home before it gets hot. It's like 60 something degrees right now, which is really nice, but it's going to be like 95 this afternoon. So I'm trying to get out and then get home before it gets really hot. Because the thing about once it gets really hot and into the afternoon, I come home and I'm so wiped out because the heat, this is a student driver, I can tell. Driving a Cadillac? Damn. I mean, it's 2020 stepping up the game, I guess. So I also didn't charge my battery. So I have two half charged batteries today. So I'm hoping I can get all of this done and still have battery life. Although the way I chit chat, there's no telling. God, it's way too much. Oh God. All right, just left Target and the cauldron that we saw at the Target, the same Target last time, uh, completely gone. No cauldrons to be found. Come on, little birdie, cross. Aww. Waddling across the street. I did see some kitchen towels that I hadn't seen before, some little hand towels. One of them had a spider, it was white with a spider on it, so cute. And then on the other side, like there were two towels that came with it. The other towel was all, it was black with white spider webs. 
on it. And it was really cute. The other one said, no tricks, only treats, maybe, on it. And then the other, the other towel had like a really cute kind of skull print on it. There's also a burlap pillow with a little jack-o'-lantern face on it. I hadn't seen that before, that was new. Oh, there was like a little um, plastic wine glass that said cheers witches on it. There were a couple of rugs. One said something about a dead, dead and breakfast. And another one said we're really into Halloween or we're obsessed with Halloween. And those were kind of cute. They were kind of flimsy, if you want my honest opinion. But yeah, that's pretty much all I saw in the dollar spot. And they had these things, and I bought them out. So I'll just go ahead and show you, because I didn't get a shot there, because it was right in the middle of everything. But they had these really cute... They only had three out. So when I say I bought them out, I didn't buy like 30. They had these little wall decor things. Like these crows that stick on your wall. And then they also had spiders. And they were three bucks a pop, which is such a good deal. Because these are kind of, I mean, they are paper. But, I mean, whatever. Three dollars. I'm not mad at it. All right, we're at Home Goods. My camera battery is already dying. Which is just perfect. Just left Home Goods. Saw a couple of things. Saw the same end cap. The same tired looking end cap with the same things and I didn't even get the shot of it because I'm just tired of it. They did have a cute little aisle that had stuff though. They had some more of the radios and I saw a black radio this time, which we've only seen orange and purple. I saw a black one. I saw this little stuffed pumpkin thing that was kind of cute. Um, I saw a candlestick holder that had the spider on it again that was really cute. I don't know if I showed it last time or even mentioned it last time. They also had one of those ceramic Halloween Christmas tree looking things and it was a large one and it has at the top has this witch hat as like the topper and then it has a witch that flies around it. It said it flies around the hat or around the tree or whatever it does, but it looked really cool and really cute. So they also had something I hadn't seen before at Home Goods during Halloween, which were Halloween wreaths. They had one that had a bunch of skulls on it. I don't know if they were gold or am I getting confused with one of Big Lots? I don't know, but it was really cute. And then the other one was black with red pumpkins and red roses all around it. And then in the center was a spider web. That was really cute. All right, I'm going into Home Depot right now. We're here. We're here. All right, so just left home. I almost said Home Goods. <laughs> we already went there. Uh, home Depot. And let's talk about what we saw. Okay, so I almost walked out because I didn't see, like, usually they have the big inflatable things, you know? I didn't see any inflatables, any Halloween inflatables. So I was like, you know what? It's fine. There's no Halloween here. But I persevered, and I'm glad I did because... Oh, hold on, everybody. Woo! I persevered, and I'm glad I did because I walked down further, and they had some Halloween out, and so far it looks promising. They had a a big wreath that was really pretty it's black and red it was 40 bucks it honestly looked really high quality and it was really really large so if you're looking for a large gothic looking wreath it could definitely be used all year round also saw some like pumpkin like stacked pumpkins and there was a big skeleton like a life-size skeleton guy and then just a couple of skeletons in there folded up. I saw these like um, like stakes, like stake lights, solar stake lights that go in the ground, but they're not the little ones, like pathway lights. They're more like these really tall lights. Um, what else? It's already getting hot. I need to take off this jacket. It was like 60 something. And now it's like within the last hour, it's like 80 already. Um, all right, this guy with his base bumping. I feel like a granny. Your base is bumping. Oh, <laughs> Did I talk about the big werewolf? Because there was a big werewolf that was in a box. Nothing was out yet. Um, and it was just like one little small aisle. So they were still putting stuff out. All right, so where are we going next? We're going to Menards next. Um, then we're going to go to Lowe's. Then I wanted to hit Dollar Tree. Is this guy who listening to Michael Jackson? Yeah, he is. Dun, 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 dun. Anyway, all right, I only have 7% camera battery left. All right, and I need to talk about what I see at these other places. So I'm gonna get off of here. All right, just left Menards and there was so much stuff in there. 
I don't even know if I'm going to be able to list it all. First of all, they had their spooky town out. Some of the spooky town was similar to Michael's. And some of it was totally new and nothing I've seen before. First of all, they had this witch coven one that wasn't turned on. So I was a little bummed about it. But it had these witches and I think they just like turn in a circle and like dance around a fire, which I'm totally into. They also had a really cool spooky house that I love collecting spooky houses. And this one was on a whole other level of excitement. Um, and then they also had some of the other things that we've seen. Like they had the, um, the one with the pumpkins where the lids kind of pop up or the pumpkin tops kind of pop up. They had that one, which we saw it at Michael's, and they had one that had Venus flytraps on it that was pretty cute. And they had like the one with the green neon slime looking stuff on it. Their spooky town looked really cute, but they were sold out of that witch's coven one. And I've been wanting to do a spooky town. I just like in like get one every single year and just like one day have a big old spooky town. Um, and I think the witch's coven may be my one that I start with because that one is so cool. Or maybe it's gonna be the spooky house. I don't know, the witch's coven one was only 25 bucks and the spooky house was $69. And I still wanna leave some room in my budget open. So I don't know. Anyways, we're running out of battery so we don't have time to talk about it. Okay, so anyways, then I saw a bunch of tabletop decor, some stacked little pumpkin ceramic things, skulls, little pretty skulls, butterflies on it, lanterns, then they had these metal lanterns like the ones I got last year at Home Goods for outdoors that had little jack-o'-lantern faces, little spooky metal houses that were really cute, different other different tabletop decor. I'll just show it because they had a bunch of stuff there, just like a bunch of random stuff and it was kind of placed in different areas. They had a bunch of signs, one that said welcome, uh, and then they had some, they had a wreath, I think, I hope, um, and then they had a uh, bunch of animatronic little stand-up blow-up. They had the three witches again this year standing over the cauldron that they had last year. They had this big old werewolf that just goes like this and is like, Rawr. and then they had um, a Jack Skellington. They had a Sally pumpkin and then the boogeyman. And then they had these things that hang, you know, the hanging things. They had Jack Skellington and Sally and they had Maleficent, I think. And then they had this really cute pumpkin that I almost got last year. It's like a big plastic light up pumpkin. Um, but yeah, just a bunch of spooky things. So signs, tabletop decor. Um, I'm just, oh, and then they had a little boneyard <laughs> again with like a skeleton rat, a unicorn, some snakes, spider, like a bunch of different skeletons. So there's a lot of Menards and yeah. Um, I'll just keep showing it if I have more clips, but there was a lot to see. All right, so now we're going to Lowe's. All right, so I just left uh, Lowe's. Lowe's knows. Um, and by the way, when I was going in, there was a guy playing an accordion. I don't know if you could hear it. Um, and I wanted to give him money but I don't see him out there. I see his little station, but I don't see him out there because you gotta support local musicians. I don't have a ton of cash on me, but enough to at least like, you know what I mean? I wanna give him something. Like it's hard being a musician right now with the pandemic. A and B, like he was really good. Um, Dang it. Well, maybe he's just went on a lunch break or a bathroom break. And, and at first I just thought it was a car that had music up really loud. And I was like, what is going on? Who's playing? Like, it sounded like at like a circus or at like a fair, you know what I mean? And uh, and then I looked over and it was a guy playing an accordion, which is awesome. Dang it. It actually made me really happy, even though it's freaking hot out already. We need to talk about what was in Lowe's before my battery runs out. Okay, so went into Lowe's and they had some really good stuff. They had a, did I even put hand sanitizer on? I think I did, but we'll just add extra. A lot of the decorations at Lowe's were animatronic kind of things, like little small ones. And they had some really cute ones. And I'm not usually crazy about that kind of stuff. They had really good ones there though. They had two different jack-o'-lanterns that kind of light up and make different sounds.
A lot of Frankenstein stuff at Lowe's, like a Frankenstein bust head kind of thing. There were like two different ones. There was like a fancy looking Frankenstein. Don't you forget, I gave you life. And then one that kind of like was, like you kind of electrocute him, Frankenstein. And there was Frankenstein and the Bride of Frankenstein in a cloche that was so cute. Woman, friend, wife. They also had a really cute uh, Nightmare Before Christmas little globe thing that lights up and spins. And then it, it makes all these like Nightmare Before Christmas images on your walls. They also had this pumpkin that was hollowed out. And inside they had this, I think it was just a bride and groom in there. You know what it sounds like? Uh, it reminded me so much of Beetlejuice. They also had like a crow that was in a cage. And then they had a skeleton that was in a cage that kind of like what he does little oh my gosh I thought that was a real person that person it's a mannequin it scared me all right so anyway they had some really cute wreaths they had um they had a bunch of um blow up what do you call them like the blow up things but they were way up top so I couldn't even really get a good view of them but they had a bunch of different ones um that you'd have to see but I just couldn't get a good shot of them um but they had some cute ones and then they had, oh, they had this Mr. Skeleton. Again, the glow-in-the-dark one I saw last year that I wanted to get, that I may or may not get this year. I wanna see if it goes on sale, because I want the glow-in-the-dark one, although I know Mr. Skeleton would be so jealous. I'll play anything or show anything that I didn't just mention. Um, and we're right by At Home, too, but I think we saw At Home. I think we're, I really wanna get an outdoor sign, though. Um, okay, I'm gonna go into Dollar Tree, we're here really quick because this is running out of batteries um i ran into dollar tree they had their aisles looked really good they had some of the stuff we saw last time at dollar tree but it just looked nicer and they had a little bit more like kids stuff like little stamps and little you know stuff like that um, um but they also had a little like a couple of little tabletop decors that had little halloween sayings on them and some garland and some uh, floral and um, little ornaments. So they did have some stuff there uh, and it looked like they were still putting it out, but they did have a couple of signs, things like that. I'm looking for some of the bags, like the little monster bags that they have every year. Um, Cause I use those for my nieces her birthday is in October. So I use those for her birthday gift bags um so then i ran it at home really quick and they had a couple of really cute things that i hadn't seen before they had this really pretty velvet candelabra thing or candlestick holder thing that was really pretty that i hadn't seen there before and another really cool candelabra that was silver um or like tarnished a little bit uh they also had oh this witch it was glittery i audibly gasped when i saw it i was like <gasps> it's it's like 70 bucks for this big glittery witch but she's glorious she's amazing there was also like a wizard thing um but yeah but yeah they, there were a couple of new things there that were really cool so i got a couple of clips of those and then i grabbed myself something oh my gosh i bet you could see it i don't want to give away anything um, but I gotta get off here because I'm running out of batteries. Alright. So, good morning, everyone. Well, it may not be morning <laughs> where you're at, but I'm getting an early start today. It's supposed to be really hot and really sticky and humid today. I, I hate these days. The humidity will be the death of me. <sighs> so, we are going out Halloween decor hunting, me and Mr. Skeleton, once again. So, we're going to hit two targets because home goods doesn't open till 10. We have not been out since Friday. It is currently Wednesday. I wanted to get this video out, but I wanted to get a couple more days of home goods in there and I wanted to get Michael's fully stocked. So I'm hoping today we can see the rest of the vintage line at Michael's and get a closer look at it. Y'all, I just, I just have to say this. I cannot wait, literally not wait until, what the hell is this guy doing? 
literally hanging out of his car. Stay in your car. The dude was hanging out of his car, looking in my window, dangling out. Anyways, what I was going to say before that rude ass person, I was gonna say, I'm just so ready for the fall weather and to wear my fall clothes and, and also drinking coffee and not sweating. Basically being the most basic of boot wearing witch you've ever seen. <laughs> there is no one here, no one here. There is no one here. Yes. All right, we just left Target. Mm -hmm. We're leaving it now. And, um, okay, I forgot that Starbucks has their pumpkin stuff out now. Their pumpkin cream. Oh my gosh. That one was so good last year. I wonder if they make it with almond milk this year. But if not, then Google's gonna have to drink some dairy and just deal with the allergy situation because that pumpkin cream cold brew situation is the best thing that's ever hit my lips. I like it way better than the pumpkin spice latte. We had this conversation last year. We just left Target. First thing I did was went down to the section where they normally have Halloween decorations because I was like, do they have their stuff out yet? And they do not have Halloween decorations. They have slim pickings in the school supply section. So I'm thinking Halloween is gonna be any day now. And they started putting out the Halloween candy. So I got a couple shots of that. They were just starting to put it out. So I went to the dollar spots and it looked like a lot was picked over since the last time we went, but they had only one pillow. Oh my gosh, the leaves are officially changing. Watch, watch, watch. Did you see him? Did you see him? You gotta rewind, rewind, and watch it again. <laughs> oh, I'm way too excited about this. You have no idea, but I just hate summer. And I'm sorry if you love summer. Like, I, I still love you. We can accept our differences and hopefully move on with our friendship, but I just can't with summer. All right, so let's talk about what else I saw. I saw some candles that were cauldron candles. So they were cauldron with uh, some candle wax in the middle of them. And I really wanted the pumpkin one, but it was broken. And so they only had the sangria one, which still smelled good. So I grabbed it anyway. But I was talking about the pillow. So they had one pillow that said trick or treat on it. It was orange and black. And then on the other side, it said hocus pocus, but I didn't realize it said that until after the fact, after I got the shot. So it does say hocus pocus on the other side, which I really like. What else do they have? I think that was it. It was pretty slim pickings. So either they put out everything and it's already been snatched all the way up or they just put a little bit out and that was snatched up and they're still putting stuff out. All right, so we're headed out to the other Target to see what they have on our way to Home Goods. Also, while I was in Target, I just kind of peeked at Starbucks to see if they had anything because Starbucks is for sure putting out, well, they put out their pumpkin spice stuff. So now, of course, I'm like, oh, what are they putting out for Halloween this year? And of course, you know, I stocked hashtags on that. And I saw this black studded iridescent cup, like tumbler. And they're saying that's the Halloween cup this year. But you can't fool me. I've been in this game way too long. <laughs> no. Okay, let me just put, I, I, this is another prediction that I have based on the ghost of Halloween past. So last year, Starbucks put out this matte black studded tumbler and everybody went crazy for it. And that was the Halloween cup. That's what everyone had said. And it was around this time of year. But then if you remember, it was but a couple weeks later that they announced the real Halloween cups. And it was that tumbler with the spider web on it. And they had one with all these really cute, like flash looking um, illustrations, like Halloween spooky flash illustrations. And oh, like a mug with spider webs on it. And it was a whole actual Halloween collection. Given how excited people were over that collection and how fast it sold out, you're not gonna even convince me for a second that a tumbler with some stud iridescent studs on it is all you got for the Halloween collection and some like mugs or tumblers or therm thermos things with some leaves on it. There is also a possibility it's not happening because of COVID. That is a possibility. So I'm not going to get way too cocky about it. I'm going to stay humble, <laughs> but I'm going to make this prediction that we will see 
an actual Halloween collection from Starbucks. And if I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. I went into Target and this Target last year had Halloween out early. So maybe they'll have Halloween out today. We'll see. Oh Lord, ah! I left my phone sitting at the self-checkout. <laughs> Lord, <laughs> it's already freaking hot. Walked in once again, they had a fully stocked candy area, but I walked down the aisle and they had some baking stuff. So they had some cupcake liners, they had a skull pan, it said haunted house pan on the thing, like on one of the labels, I didn't see them out, but that would be really cute. Uh, oh, and then they had little cookie cutters, that kind of thing. What else did I see? Oh, I'll show you what I got. I got some harvest corn, a whole thing of my favorite kind. So right now we're running to Home Goods to see if they have any spooky mugs. We're about to see. I went to the dollar spot and didn't see anything new. All they had were, I mean, this one girl was down there. Let me just tell you, she was like picking up the stuff and just like throwing it back. Like, I'm like, oh my gosh, that's like gold. You need to place it back nicely, ma'am. I didn't even get shots of the dollar spot because there really wasn't a whole lot left. I can't stop playing with my hair. This is what happens when I wash my hair because I literally never wash it. I'm like, oh, it just feels so nice. <laughs> anyway, and I never wear it down because summer is the worst. All right, you're here. What are you doing? Oklahoma? All right, just left home goods and what the hell? Oh my gosh, it's so good. We just left Home Goods 1.0. In the spooky mug section, they had the same cat one that we've seen since day one. They had some newer Nightmare Before Christmas ones. They were white and they had like this gray print with Jack Skellington and then the other one had, what did it have? Lock, Stock and Barrel, I think is who was on it. Actually, they did have some cute new plates. It had this like newspaper print on it. And then it had like bride and groom skeleton and it said till death you was part anyways they had that they did have plates but then down the major halloween aisle all they had were these like i mean they did have some gnomes i got shots of there were a bunch of these silver lanterns that look like the bag lanterns you know but they're silver and they all different prints all over it like trick-or-treat cheers witches all different ones some with witches flying on a broom some with the pumpkin faces or jack-o-lantern faces actually you know what they did have some cute pillows too they had these pillows that had all these different bottles on them and they said like poison and venom and different things they had one also that had a spooky house on it with bats flying up and then they also had one that was black with white ghosts all over it that was really cute i keep seeing all these really cute spooky mugs and hashtags and i haven't i've checked like 3,000 stores but they're either getting picked over really quickly or stores out here just haven't gotten them yet i mean ray dunn mugs i totally get i know everyone's buying up ray dunn i haven't even seen the spooky mugs at michael's yet I gotta get another wreath on sale at Michael's on there because I'm gonna start doing my DIY stuff and I wanna do some wreaths this year. I don't know what else I'm doing. I don't know what other DIY. Most of my DIYs like decorate with me, which isn't even DIY, but you know what I mean? Like decorate it yourself. <laughs> All right, here we go. I just left Home Goods and then I ran into Michael's really quick and I'm so excited because we saw finally some spooky mugs at Home Goods. They were a plenty. They had this really cute one that I was looking for that was kind of a taller mug. I love taller mugs. It had orange pumpkins all over it. All right, then there was a black mug with white skulls all over it. And then the inside of the mug was orange. They also had an orange one with a skull that said, what is it? My coffee, something about death. And then the other one had, was black, said the same thing on it that I can't remember now. And it had a skeleton, like Mr. Skeleton on it. 
then there was another really cute one that was white and it had this black print on it that was this skull print but it was like magical at the same time it was a whole thing i was all excited about it they had a bunch of other stuff like little ceramic things they had a skull soap dispenser and some other little cute ceramic things i think there was a pumpkin and a couple of other things in there but they did have a lot of decorations. This one is really, really filling up. Uh, saw a couple of repeat items that I was really excited to see. Like a couple years ago, I got this little, it's like a little clown skeleton guy and is, he has a little bobblehead. Got it at TJ Maxx a couple years ago. Haven't seen it since. And every time I post about it, I get a comment about where I got that thing and I got it there and they have it. And they also have a different one this year that has like a little, top hat thing oh they had these really cool looking you know the books where you open them and they're like a little secret container inside uh they had really cool ones this year I had a couple actually one that said book of spells and then there was another one that said witches book of witches or something and then there was another one that said just halloween on it but they were really cool vintage looking some of them were gothic looking really loved that um also there was like a little couple little lantern thing where i'm assuming when you turn them on there was like glitter that kind of flies up there was one with a skeleton and i think one that just said happy halloween or like a little spooky house or trees or something um what else did they have they had this really cute vintage looking it was like a black cat that was kind of like that was kind of leaning against a pumpkin and it said happy halloween on it uh, it was like a little statue thing. They had another statue that I thought was really cool that was a jack-o'-lantern head on a pedestal. And then it had a little party hat on. It was the best home goods I've seen yet. I'm not gonna lie. I'm so excited about it. Um, what else did I see? But I'm just gonna keep showing it. And if I have to show it with music because I have so many clips, then I will. Um, but I didn't see any Ray Dunn stuff, in case you're curious, didn't see any Ray Dunn. But this Home Goods was the best I've seen so far, which I'm so excited about. So then I went over to Michael's, and Michael's not only had a fully stocked vintage line, but they also had all their mugs out and little candy bowls. First of all, I'll start with the vintage line. I didn't get any footage of the other lines because we saw the full shebang when we went the other day, so I only got the vintage line. Lots of little trinkets, little tabletop decor, little shelf decor. They had little black and white, little pumpkin clown looking things, and a little skull, I think it was, like skeleton looking clown thing jack-o'-lantern head looking clown situations where they look like vintage clowns but black cats and skeletons and and jack-o'-lanterns and all that kind of stuff but they're really cute and really spooky and creepy all at once and i love it they had the little stand-up things we saw last year they had the cat on the pumpkin they had uh the pumpkin man again this year and they had the stacked pumpkins which i feel like they didn't have those last year what i will say about that line is if you got it last year and you were really frustrated because the bottom of the thing uh wobbled a lot they fixed that this year so they all stand up by themselves what else did i see oh they had really cute little potion bottles they had a halloween countdown they had a bunch of really cute signs some of the signs i saw last year like the bottle cap looking one uh, but there was a new one this year that said like black magic or something or i don't know but it had these cats dancing around a fire that's definitely on my wish list um a bunch of other little signs mainly little trinkets that were kind of cute um here and there and that kind of stuff oh they had the scaredy cat sign again this year uh but lots of really cute stuff i'll continue to show all the clips i have so then they finally had their mugs out and their little candy bowls and those were really cute the mugs were really really cute they said things like my broomstick runs on coffee and poise pick your poison uh death before decaf which i thought was hilarious um also i saw some tablecloths like spider web runners and a spider web centerpiece and couple things like that also some of their dishware like some just like platters and plates and bowls and like one was a cat one was a jack-o-lantern and then they had some little candy bowls and or candy containers and drink containers they had some cute tumblers one had like spider webs but they were still pretty cute 
Um, then there are paper plates and napkins and all that. All those are really cute. I'm gonna wait till those go on sale and I might snag some napkins. Well, my camera is officially overheating, so, and I'm going home anyways. Hey everyone, we are back. Halloween decor hunting. Okay, so first I have to go cut my mom's hair. And right by her house, she has a Target, a Tuesday morning, and a Dollar Tree, wait, and a Walmart. We're gonna hit all of those places out there today. Wow, this video is gonna be so long. So maybe my Saturday release date is a little ambitious, but we're just gonna do a whole Halloween extravaganza today. All right, we are officially leaving my mom's house at the moment. Should have showed you guys my mom while I was in there, but I guess this is Halloween decor hunting. It's not Vlogmas. But she did want to get in the back with a bottle of wine and hang out with Mr. Skeleton. <laughs> I almost invited her, but she had to work. She was telling me this story that apparently the other day she was out watering this tree and these bugs just start swarming her. And she thought they, she couldn't see what they were because they were small and she couldn't see. So she just like stood there and kept watering and minding her own business and da 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 da. She steps back because she's like, what are these things? And they are bees. She's being swarmed by bees. Oh my gosh. Okay, there was a cough. I thought I was speeding, but I'm not. Anyways, back to being swarmed by bees. So she's being swarmed by bees and realizes where she's watering, there is a nest underground. And she's like, yeah, I don't know. I didn't get stung. That's so weird. But we have to get the beekeeper to come out and take care of it. And I was like, what the? That is like, I, I, mm. I have no words for how... I would have not at all handled that situation appropriately, <laughs> but thought it was kind of an interesting story, I tell you guys. So if you have a huge fear of bees, then there you go. Anyway, so we're at Target. <laughs> now that we've had this traumatizing conversation, uh-uh, uh-uh, it's my right away. <whistles> all right, we're going into Target. All right, just got out of Target and let me just say, when I walked in, this guy came right at me, was like waiting for me at the door, came right at me with some hand sanitizer and was like pumping it in my hand. And I was like, uh, didn't ask if I wanted it. Didn't nothing, just started squirting it in my hand. And I'm like, dude, like you being this close to me is probably worse off than the, than the hand sanitizer you're spraying on my hands. But okay. I'm like, dude, you don't even know. I have like five in my car. All right, so I'm headed to Dollar Tree right now, but let me just tell you really quick, my boob sweat. <laughs> let me just tell you it's real right now. I'm gonna have like a sweat mark because I just itched my boob sweat area with my black shirt. Great, okay. Anyways, the dollar spot at this one always has really good stuff. I don't know if people just sleep on this one or what. They had this whole section I hadn't seen before with these little potion holders. They're like, there's like a, a, wood, a natural wood looking one that says witch's potion and then a black one that almost has more of a frame to it that says something else but it just may be poison or something like that and then they had these little bottles that were only a dollar that said like poison or like raven's feather oh i saw some of the little ceramic cauldrons again it looked like they had quite a few of those they had some of the cauldron candles but they had melted all over each other so i don't know what that was about and they had just different smells of the cauldron candles um, and then they had some of the stuff we had seen before they had some of the spooky trees I mentioned before that the velvety branchy trees have the little pot that has the skull on it well the sparkly trees this year have the spider on the little pot which is really cute so I saw those again I saw some brooms so some of the things we had seen before that I got really quick so if you think you missed out on cauldrons at your target before maybe check back I'm wondering if they just put a few things out at first and now they're fully getting their stuff out I could be wrong though all right so we're at Dollar Tree and we're at Tuesday morning. We're gonna go into both. All right, so I just left the Dollar Tree and Tuesday morning. A lot of new stuff that I hadn't seen before, especially signs, really, really, really cute signs. I'm just jumping right into this. Let me just tell you. Okay, so they had these really cute, once again, kind of following that vintage vibe. They had one that said, Happy Halloween. One that said, Welcome or I don't know what it said. And then another sign that said Happy Halloween on it that had like a vintage looking cat and then a pumpkin and then maybe a school guy. I don't know, but really cute. Some of the signs I saw last year, uh, so they did repeat some of them, but there were some other really, really, really cute vintage looking ones this year for a freaking dollar. What else did I see? Oh, I saw the bags. So every year they have these trick or treat bags 
but I use them as gift bags and I love them. They had some really cute salad tongs, some uh, skeleton hand salad tongs that were cute. They had a bunch of socks and scarves and cute things like that, like socks with witches and some had ghosts and some had spiders and eyeballs and all different sorts of things. Then there was a whole Day of the Dead area that was really cute. They had a really cute Day of the Dead uh, sugar skull platter thing, so cute. Then there were like the typical sparkly spiders that we saw already this year, but I went ahead and, sh and left them in there anyways. Um, some sparkly, glittery, all of the things. Uh, garland stakes that go into the ground. They, they did have the path lights again this year, the little solar path lights. Uh, they had a skull, a jack-o'-lantern, and a ghost, I think, maybe this year. Um, but they had those path lights again this year. They had a couple of little toys, like a little witch and a little ghost. Oh, towels. They had Halloween towels, Halloween oven mitts, and plate, uh, hot plate things, pads, whatever. Really cute stuff. Like really, really, really cute stuff. Um, but some new, some things that I saw last year, which is a good mix. I'm not mad at it. So yeah. And then Tuesday morning was just getting started, getting their stuff out. They did have a couple of cute things. They had some wreaths. They had some, they had a bowl that said treats on it that was orange and really cool looking. And then it had witch hands. So, uh, also they had a bunch of witches, like with the really pretty dresses on, the fancy witches looking things. Also had some towels, some wine glasses, some stemless wine glasses. They had one with candy corns all over it. And the other one I think had dogs on it. And then there was like a big wine glass that had like a jack-o'-lantern face on it and was orange. Um, and then what else did I see? Oh, a couple of signs were thrown in there. Um, but I, I mean, I was surprised at the selection they actually had already. Cause, oh wait, my mom's calling. Hello. You are not gonna believe this. What? Called me with them, her bee guy. Uh -huh. These are called German yellow jacket horner. <gasps> you have no idea how I did not get stung. This is what he deals with all summer. He and he said, if we if I get stung, they'll send out a scent, and they'll all be on me in a second, and I will die. And so, oh yeah, mom. So, um, he can't believe it. So he's coming out Monday. We have, we can't go back there. But yeah, yellow jackets. So, yeah. Horny. Oh my mom. That is horrifying. So, mom, how did you knock his stung? I don't know. I was in the middle of them all. Oh my God. Thanks for calling and telling me that. That's insane. Okay. Well, I'm glad you're okay. Are you there? Uh, oh, uh, I'm here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, I'm glad you're okay. Okay, yeah, me too. All right, love you. Okay, love you Talk too. You later. All right, All right bye, bye bye. Hornets, yellow jacket hornets. This just took my fear level to a whole other level. We're swarming my mom and didn't sting her. How is that even possible? It was her Virgo energy, I just know it. <laughs> I don't know. I need to just put my mask on and go into Walmart and just not ever think about this ever again. All right, so I'm leaving Walmart now. I didn't see any Halloween decoration, but I did see some Nightmare Before Christmas pajamas, which I'm really excited about. First of all, they had a long sleeve, long sweatshirt top kind of thing. Black and it has Jack Skellington's face all over it and bats and random spooky things on it. And, and let me just tell you, it is the softest material and it is super oversized and long. It's like a sweatshirt dress kind of. And then it has socks that come with it, knee high striped socks that come with it. So cute. But then they also had the sweatpants. They also had some gray sweatpants with Jack Skellington making a scary face on them. And then they had a gray sweatshirt that had uh, like a print on it. And then they, it also came with striped spooky socks. Um, they also had a Jack Skellington really fuzzy onesie. <laughs> That was kind of cute that I got a shot of. And the only other Halloween thing I saw, they did have Halloween floral, some red roses. They had black and purple, they had some black roses. All right, so I'm on my way to Joanne's. Oh my gosh, you guys, the, the leaves really are changing colors. Like that, it's actually happening. They're yellow, 
it is August. Well, I guess it is almost September. Next time we like have a separate video of us going Halloween decor hunting, it's gonna be September. That's wild. That is wild. All right, we are at Joanne's. All right, so let me just. We just left Joanne's. Right, so the first thing I saw when I walked in were these Halloween pillows. These pillows are so cool. First of all, one of them has a witch flying on a broom and it says beware. That one I definitely have an eye on because it is so cute. Another one has spider webs and it says creepy on it. Another one has, what else did, they, did I see? Oh, it has a spooky house on it. I don't even know if it says anything or what it says, but they had some really cute throw pillows. I really, 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 really want the beware one, but they had really cute throw pillows and that's all I saw. That's it. There were no other Halloween decorations. They did have the same mugs that we saw last time from uh, my last Halloween decor hunting video if you wanna see what those mugs looked like because I just didn't wanna go back over it. And they had their baking stuff, which once again, I got last time we were at Joann's. I got clips of all of that. All right, so now I'm off. I gotta run to the vet really quick, get my dog's medications, and then we're done for the day. I'm gonna go home and start editing. I'm gonna put on my brand spanking new nightmare before Christmas pants, spoiler alert. Hey everyone, so I'm just finishing up on some editing, but I realized that I didn't have a proper goodbye in my video. I don't know if my camera overheated or what happened, but uh, anyways, I just wanted to say proper goodbye um, and say thank you for Halloween decor hunting with me. Halloween is happening officially. It is spooky season. Also, if you wanna let me know down in the comments, any of your favorite places or the your favorite themes or lines out this year, let me know down in the comments because I'd love to hear what you guys are into. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.